give us a sense of uh, what this is about. How does it ensure uh, greater accuracy in testing? Hi, good morning, and thank you for the uh, introduction. Um, the goal of better testing is the, based on the principle that a great test is nothing without a good sample. And no matter how great the lab and how great the test is, sampling is really key at the front line to make sure that the quality um, allows for good, uh, good quality and, and, and positive testing. The goal of the kit allows for accessible and widespread uh, collection for mass testing in the clinic, um, at the home, um, and even at airports. The idea is that a supervised saliva collection could possibly outperform um, current gold standards of swabbing, and this is really crucial to allowing, um, to allowing a broader, more accessible testing so that uh, better surveillance and uh, uh, can be achieved. Uh, Dr. Tan, what do you make of how Singapore has handled uh, efforts in trying to contain the spread of this virus and how perhaps uh, the kind of testing that you found, how helpful would that be for Singapore? I think definitely Singapore has a a uh, wonderful response to the issue, and I think certainly broad and accessible testing is a key to that. Um, I think the critical thing to consider here is that um, really there are going to be vulnerable people um, everywhere in the region, and I think the idea is that a good and accessible um, sampling coupled with a much broader um, testing is going to be key um, across the region and even the world. Tell me, you know, with all of these different tests, we've got different le levels of efficacy. Can you tell me why, what the biggest challenge is when it does come to testing? I think there are se uh, several bottlenecks in terms of testing. There is first the frontline bottleneck in terms of uh, sample collection. Uh, there is the issue of cold chain transport for chilled sample. And finally, there is the uh, lab uh, testing capacities, and I think these are all uh, well known across the world. And I think every um, this is something which is being uh, scaled up everywhere. There is a lot of attention on this. So saliva testing seems to be the way forward for now, and is that your view too? Um, saliva testing is definitely something which is being evaluated um, in, uh, by many of the large uh, organizations out there, such as WHO and FDA. I think there are early adopters in terms of the um, you know, cities such as Hong Kong, where uh, supervised saliva collection is very much uh, widely practiced. And I think this is, you know, this is where... Uh, many, many, many governments and regulators are looking very, very closely at this. Uh, Dr. Tan, how much is testing an obstacle to containing the COVID-19? I think testing is the key, it's really a key element to identifying um, the extent as well of the current outbreak. It allows for um, assessment of who, who, who would be best uh, quarantined. It would allow for uh, assessment of the uh, scale and scope. And I think it's really going to be a key to allowing us to understand um, how the outbreak is going to be contained and uh, controlled. What do you make of the healthcare infrastructure to respond to the COVID-19? Um, the healthcare infrastructure, I mean, I, I speak primarily um, based on my knowledge of testing infrastructure. It's uh, something which there is a lot of attention that being paid to now, and it's, that's going to continue. Um, the integration of the testing infrastructure with our, our current uh, uh, hospital infrastructure, the uh, clinic infrastructure, the even communication such as airports 
Um, that's going to be the big questions uh, for the next few months. Uh, indeed, and it's also for the next few months, it's going to be a battle between uh, vaccines and actually treatment here as well. And, you know, which is the best way forward? Uh, that's the point. Uh, to, to probably stop people getting it to, uh, at all is uh, the ideal situation, is it not? I think there are many um, unpredictable elements of the future, I think. And what the company really is focused on is helping the vulnerable in many ways. And these would be the... Um, the patients who are being seen for testing. And I think uh, the vulnerable elderly, that's a very important uh, area as well, because we recognize that the elderly are most prone to infections. Um, we are working closely with the, uh, with the Shanghai Telemedicine Network as the uh, largest uh, integrated senior care company uh, in China for the, to help the, the elderly um, uh, receive a more appropriate uh, uh, more suitable uh, testing. I think at the same time, I, we are delivering our services and uh, collaborating with uh, IHH Healthcare, which is uh, uh, Asia's largest private healthcare um, network. Dr. Tan, before we let you go, you're a cancer screening and DNA testing company, and you raised $20 million in November in Series A funding led by IHH. Uh, any other plans to raise funds as you expand? I think we, uh, that's always a consideration, but perhaps not the uh, most urgent one right now. I think really right now, it's our goal is to make sure communities have access to the best possible testing and surveillance. And, you know, this is a somber uh, time, but I think we are uniquely positioned to help.